digital photos. Do you know when this will happen? In the decades since taking these photos, we were just very excited about our children. Susan Crowder hadn't thought much about how her family grew living in Colorado and Wyoming. We were just a regular family. She hadn't thought about the Louisville, Kentucky fertility doctor who helped her and her husband conceive. This was our first family picture. She hadn't thought about him until her daughter went online and took a DNA test. This isn't how this was supposed to go. The doctor, Marvin Yusman, was not supposed to be her daughter's father. She says he told her he'd use a medical student sperm donor to help her get pregnant. Instead, she says he did it himself. I try not to think about it too much because it gives me the creeps. Documents show Yusman said he, on very rare occasions, used his own sperm. He said only about a half a dozen times. So deceitful, so unethical, so immoral. I, I just can't even apply all the terms to it. In Kentucky, there wasn't much Crowder could do. She tried complaining to the university where he worked, the medical board, and finally the legislature. The first day that the law went into effect, he filed it. Amy Wheatley is Crowder's lawyer. They're suing Dr. Yusman under a new Kentucky law Crowder helped pass. Last week, she filed a second suit on behalf of another woman. He artificially inseminated this woman twice. And so both of her children are his biological children. Crowder says her daughter has at least 10 half siblings. She suspects there are more. You'll see that some of these look like Polaroids. Her Actually, photos show a happy outcome. She's just the sweetest, sweetest, cutest girl ever. But it's what's not in the photos that she must now confront. And I'm still waiting for some kind of accountability. Cole Sullivan, Nine News. We called the doctor today. He told us he didn't want to talk about the case. The University of Louisville says his clinic wasn't a part of the hospital system when this happened.